there with you. So let's all take a big sip of water while we're here. Uh -huh. Cold showers in the morning. Ooh, so good. It's so challenging to turn that switch from oh, warm so to cold. Good. <laughs> okay. Linking up our leg bands. Looks like Steve was able to hop on. Any more answers? Any habits we want to get going? Gators, I didn't hear much from you today. I don't know. Must be, must be a little bit tired. We're tired. Tired. <laughs> All right. Jeff, I saw one more and then we'll come up. Be in awareness more than ego. Mm -hmm. So hard. So hard. Part of being human. All right. So coming on up, popping the leg bands on. And Wayne, since this is your first cut to work out, when you put your bands on, I'm wearing darker pants. So it's a little bit hard to see. You'll find the outer tubing. You actually want to find that edge and pull it up towards your hip. So our bands are not exactly parallel. They're angled up at an angle. Angled up an angle. Yeah, that kind of works. We'll go with that. So everyone, find those side straps. Hike them up together. Cycles are going. And with the legs, also starting smaller muscles to bigger muscles. We're gonna start with some calf work. So, hands Do you to still hips. keep it on G? Still on G? Um, I would say, since this is one of your first workouts, keep it on G. Keep it on okay. G. And now that you're familiar with kind of how it feels, if you feel comfortable going up like a medium, um, yeah. you can feel free to try that here. Or you really can't fail. Perfect. Like, right. you know, it's just playing with what works for your body. So start, gotcha. keep it on G for now, um, and you can experiment later on. Cool. Good question, though. Really good question. Um, okay. Hands on hips. We're going to start with some heel raises. It's going up and down. Up and down. So we've got our 40 seconds. Cycles are going. We're raising our heels. But as we do this, we're going to challenge our balance. So as you lift your heels up and down, Option to start to reach your arms forward. Option to start to reach your arms straight up. Good, and I want you to try and keep your heels up the floor the whole time. Option to bring your arms up to the side. Option to draw little circles while you keep raising your heels. We have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good, drop the heels, drop the hands. Good news is we have one more set of those. Now, if you want an extra challenge today, the first half of your heel raises, you're gonna be on the big toe of the left foot and you're just gonna raise the right heel up and down, only the right side. If you're feeling super comfortable here, you can do a single leg heel raise, okay? So if balance is still something we're working on, stay on your big toe. If you're feeling really comfortable, get that foot off the floor. 40 seconds, 20 per side. We're going in three, two, one. Right leg up and down. And what do you know? It's like a single leg, heel raise, toothbrushing opportunity. <laughs> Don't have to do the toothbrushing part. Keep going through it. Good. Making sure that the shoulders stay stacked over hips. We don't want to slouch or arch our back. Good. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Root the left foot down either on the big toe of the right foot or keep it lifted. And you're probably gonna notice that one side is way easier to balance on than the other, and that's totally normal. <laughs> Dominant foot. Yeah, there we go. Last six, five, keep those heels up. Four, three, two, and one. Good job, everyone. First lower body strength exercise, curtsy lunge to hand kick. I wanna keep my arms down in front of me. I take my left leg, I lunge over to the side, kick it up. Over to the side, kick it up. I don't care if your foot actually gets to your hand, but I want you to try your hardest, okay? We're only doing the left side to start, arms out. And as you curtsy into this, I wanna see this front knee stay straight, no flopping out to the side. So I go back, kick, back, kick. Let's go, first set. We need a name for those. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, just saying we need a new name for curtsy lunge. No, no, we don't. We are perfectly fine. Get your lunge ego out of here. <laughs> there you go. Back, up, side, up. Good, get that leg as high as you can. Last 10, then we're gonna go right into the right leg in six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right leg, we go back, kick, back, kick. And if you really wanna challenge, try not to let your foot touch the floor as you bring it through center, just kick, step it back, kick, step it back. It's also totally fine to pause, and then go into it. Good, half done with the right leg. We're gonna take a pause and we'll keep going. Beautiful Wayne, yes I am. Woo, Gabe, that was one heck of a kick. Good, now see where you have the opportunity, everyone, to get that leg a little bit further over to the side and up. So we don't wanna go straight back, we wanna go over. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, shake it out. Give yourself some kicks to the side. So, second set, same thing. This time, if you want more of a challenge, you can take your hands behind your head or you can reach your arms straight up. We're still kicking forward. So we go over, kick, over, kick. And that's only if you want to. Having the arms out is also perfectly great. This time, try and get that leg a little bit further over to the side, really working your hips and glutes. All right. We're gonna start with the left leg in three, two, one. We go lunge, up, lunge, up. Get your back knee as close to the floor as you can. Squeeze your butt like heck. And if you don't wanna call them curtsy lunges, you can call them ice skater lunges. I don't know if that's much better. <laughs> Good. Ooh, who's got their arms up? Lisa, fantastic. Last 10. Nice. Get those legs all the way up. We're going to go right to the other side in four, three, two, and one. Right leg is working. Time is rolling. We go over, kick, over, up. Beautiful. Strong form, everybody. Nice Bonnie, yes. Good, yes. Nice. We are half done. Now notice if you have your arms straight up, are your arms actually straight or are they getting kind of tired? Wherever you are, being mindful of our arms as well as our legs, last 10 seconds. Let me see if you can do three more for eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Awesome, check it out. All right, we're coming into our second of three cardio boost section, whatever you wanna call it, okay? So first 30 seconds, overhead reach jump in three, two, and one. Here we go, hop it out. Good, get really high, come on, let me see you fly. Yeah, there we go. Keep those heels off the floor the whole time. We've been practicing that with our heel raises. Yeah, there we go. Last 10. In eight, we're going to come into our pendulum swings. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Arms out. We swing, swing, kick, swing, swing, kick. Get those legs all the way up. Let me see you go fast. Awesome. Half done. Last 10. Woo, show me what you got. Speed it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Edge under the floor. Edge plank. Opposite hand, opposite leg. Time's rolling. Back, forward, back forward. Get your hips back. See if you can reach those fingertips all the way back towards your ankles. 
tap them, shift forward, use your core, stay strong, keep breathing. Who haven't I observed today? Everyone's looking good. Sophia, Sydney, awesome. Good, George looks great. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody come up to stand. Let's grab a quick sip of water. Okay. Sumo side to side. So the difference between a sumo squat and a regular squat is regular squat, my feet are parallel or ever so slightly angled out. Sumo, I'm going full external rotation and I'm stepping really wide. So come into that sumo position. And in this squat, imagine you're holding a weight, okay? So I'm gonna come down into sumo squat, rock over one way, rock over the other way, come back through center. Up, down, side, side. Now, if you want more of a challenge, don't raise out of it the whole time. Just keep going side to side. Woo, you're gonna feel that burn. All right, two sets, 40 seconds on your mark. Get set, here we go, stay low. See if you can keep your hips down the whole time. And if you need to take that little pause in the middle, you can take it. Good, work even lower into it. This is the first time we've ever done these. And sometimes when I do these, my hips pop. Not necessarily a bad thing, as long as it doesn't hurt. We're opening up our hips a whole lot here. Now, imagine you have a book balanced on top of your head. Better yet, imagine you have a coconut balanced on top of your head, maybe a bowl of watermelon, no slouching forward to keep the chest upright. Good, get your butt even lower. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's do it again. Drop right back into that sumo squat, get super low. Now we know what we're doing. Time is rolling, side to side. Woo! Yeah! Maybe stay really low, and as you work into it, keep sinking your butt down, chest up, bowl of watermelon on your head. I don't know why the bowl of watermelon was the item of the day, but it's hot here, and that just sounds great. Half done. Awesome, Gabe. John, I just see the upper half of your body kind of like slaying, but that's perfect. Woo! Wayne's got it. Chris has got it. Drop your butt even lower. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Hands to the hips. Circle them out. Other way. Last heart rate boost of the day. We've been doing fewer of these because we've been doing more strength work than cardio lately. But don't worry, tomorrow's gonna be a cardio day. Arms overhead, reach and jump. On your march, get set, let's go. So it's just like a jump rope. We're just holding our ropes instead of swinging it. But maybe you wanna jump over to the side. Maybe you wanna jump to the other side. Maybe you want to jump around, doesn't matter. Last 10, nine, give me air. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Arms out, pendulum swings, let's move. Swing, swing, up, swing, swing, up. Last set of the day, make them great. Woo! We know how to do these, so let's make it fast. Are those arms straight and strong? Or are they getting tired? Work through it. Last 10, then we're coming down for X planks in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Onto the floor, X planks, on your mark, get set, go, tap, shift, tap, shift. You guys are the best, I say in. Half done, keep moving. In 10, we're gonna drop our knees and stay on the mat. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop your knees, give your hips a rock side to side. Woo. 
All right, touch the toes, lift your hips up and back. And then walk your hands back to meet your feet, rolling up to stand. It is another variation of a squat. So we're really opening up our hips today. I bring my hands together. You can imagine you're holding a weight, holding whatever you wanna hold. I squat, lift, alternate knee to opposite elbow. Squat, knee to elbow. Now my elbows don't move. I'm bringing my legs up to them, down and up. That's it, ready, set, 40 seconds. First ones, let's go. Get your butt really low, up down, up, working the core as well here. Also, just practicing to brush our teeth on one leg, really. That's what we're doing. Keep going. If you want to move fast, move fast. Yes, each time, sinking a little bit lower into it. Up, down, up. That's it. 12. Last eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Kick it out, kick it out. Next set, on your mark, get set, let's go. Down, up, down, up, side to side. Cool. Good, let me see you get your butts even lower, driving them back, none of this stuff just to get down. Nice straight spine, bowl of watermelon is back on your head the whole time. Woo. We know that we don't have any more cardio today. So let's get our heart rate up. Just doing this move, growing stronger. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we have two more moves for our legs. Then we'll come down for our core and call it a day. So I, this really is just the one-legged toothbrush workout. So we're gonna do the single leg Romanian deadlift. I step my right foot back, my left foot forward. Now, the only thing I really care about as you do this is that you keep a straight line from the top of your head to your back heel. So we bend into the front leg, we hinge forward as much as we can, and we rise back up. Now, if you're going like this, or you're going like this, you're cheating the move. Nice straight line, squeezing your glute. We come down and back up. And the bigger bend you make in the front leg, the harder it is, and I like it, okay? Left leg forward, right leg back. First set, let's go. Come down as low as you can. Come back up. If you want more of a challenge, don't let your right foot touch the floor at all as you do this and take a bigger bend into your left leg. And you don't need to watch me because you know what you're doing. So find a place two or three feet in front of you on the floor and stare into that spot to help you balance. Good. And these can and should be slow. Good. Making especially sure that you're not rounding out your back just in the name of getting your arms lower because that's not the part that matters. We're not building strength by doing this. Let me see you do one more. Six, five. Four, three, two, step the right foot up. Come onto the toes of the back foot, bend to the right knee, second side, here we go. Down and up. Yes, my time is going, our bodies are going. Let's see how low you can go, get all the way into it. Hinge back up, maybe hover the left foot off the floor instead of setting it down. Uh-huh. And you can imagine that you're holding a weight or something in your hands pulling you down. Good. Look at that balance, gang. Now, if you're not squeezing the muscles of your butt like heck, consider giving that a shot because that'll help you with this work. Let me see you do one more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. We have one more set. Right foot forward, left foot back. If you're needing more of a challenge today, hands behind the head. Big old bend in that left leg. I come down, up, down, up. Time's rolling. And I offer a lot of variations in the workouts. You can always try something and then go back to what you're doing before if it doesn't work. Sorry, just got a notice about a curfew in LA. 
<laughs> Good. Go down, hinge into it. Pop back up. Yes, we're half done. Nice. Ooh. Justin, that was a great bend in the leg. See if you can keep that bend the whole time. Don't let your leg straighten. Ooh, yes, yes, that's it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Last set, right leg forward, left leg back. Option, take the hands behind the head. On your mark, get set, here we go. Good, and as you're doing this, keep lengthening your left leg back behind you. Activate every muscle. Oh, that's it, Justin. Amazing. You guys are the best. We are half done. Use this opportunity to take it slow. Build strength. Let's go, Lisa. You have to tell me after if it's Lisa or Liza. I don't know. <laughs> Just, I'll ask you after. Good. Last 10. Let me see one more good one. First six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hands across the shoulders, feet hips distance apart. Five good mornings, hinging at the hips, keeping the legs straight to release the hamstrings and come back up. Hinge at the hips, release the hamstrings. Rise on up, take two more. Same thing here, that spine stays straight, letting the backs of the legs open up. Last two. And final one. Naturally, we saved one of our hardest moves for last. We have one more thing to do here, and then we get to sit on our butt. So these are called thrust jumps. The idea is that I go from a plank position into a squat. So I come into plank. I hop my feet outside my hands. Squat. Back. Hop up. Squat, hop back. If the jump is not happening for you, step, step, squat, step back, okay? Whatever you do to get your legs up, I want hands off the floor, butt back, come back down, extend your legs back behind you, okay? We have one minute of those. It's gonna be hard, we're gonna sweat, and then we're gonna sit down. All right, make your way into plank position. On your mark, get set, let's go, hop back hop back if you want to go fast go fast <laughs> each time you do it get your butt down and as you hop up your heels are going to want to lift off the floor don't let them amazing bunny yes get those hands up Woo! that's it oh my goodness gabe going all the way for the stand we are half done Give me everything you've got. Last challenge of the day. Yeah, Chris, go. He's doing great. <laughs> Good. Woo, getting really sweaty. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. One more. Four, three, two, and one. Everybody come down to sit. <sighs> Extend the legs straight, pedal them out. We are doing three things for our core today, and we are doing them all seated. The first one is a twist. I have my arms up. I reach over to the left, up, over to the right, up. If you want more of a challenge, do it with your feet off the floor. Okay, 30 seconds of that. Next 30 seconds. My feet stay rooted into the floor. I roll halfway back, all the way up. The secret here is that I don't want your toes to lift off the floor. So if you're doing this and then you're like, ooh, that's cheating. Last exercise, I'm seated. I lift my legs. I go out, in, out, in. So let's start with a twist. Feet rooted into the floor. Option to lift them up side to side. 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. One. Two, reach as far over as you can. Mm -hmm. Totally okay to do this with your feet rooted into the floor. Keep pulling your belly button in. If your hip flexors start to hurt, it's normal. Keep engaging your core side to side. 
Mm -hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. Last ten. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Root your feet into the floor. Imagine you have weights on your toes. core work we do targets the oh, my microphone a lot of the core work we do targets the lower abs this one targets the upper abs awesome last five four three two and one last exercise feet off the floor arms where they are we're going out in out in time's rolling Good. Each time you do it, get your thighs a little closer towards your belly. Keep your arms extended straight and strong. Woo -wee. Good. Half done. Keep moving. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take the soles of the feet together. Butterfly stretch. fall towards your shoulder. Oftentimes we kind of tend to tense our neck up here. Let it hang. And then start to come back up through center. Reach the arms up, draw some circles, move them around. Bring your palms together. Give yourself a round of applause. Awesome job. Wayne, welcome. Nice first workout. Welcome to our our uh, daily katsu fam. Uh, that was awesome. Learn to your ways and we'll pick on you too. <laughs> gotcha. Um, question for you. Do, am I supposed to, can you hear me? Yeah. Um, um, do you have to hit that button more than once? I had it on medium. You're supposed to only hit it once. Whoop. Back to you. Whoop. I can hear you, sorry. Um, can you hear me now? Yeah. That was my bad. Well, well, hey, Wayne, Wayne, this is John. I'm going to, I'm going to type my email into the chat box and I have a whole bunch of really good information for you that will help out um, a lot if that's okay. Fabulous. Yeah. Sorry guys. I missed that question. <laughs> that's fine. The, yeah. The question was, do I hit the button more than once because it seems like he goes off mm -hmm. and do I, should I like, should that blue light be on while I'm working out? The blue light on top up here? Yes. Yeah. So the blue light indicates that you're working one of They're your cycles. cycling, right? Sometimes yeah. it goes off, maybe just because I hit it when I'm working out. Yeah, or because it's a cycle, sometimes your cycle ends. And so okay. if you notice that it's not working, that's when you can hit that button again and it'll restart your cycle. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Everything else was awesome. I got a great workout on. It was awesome. You the other question is, do you um, uh, tape these at all? Because 6 o'clock doesn't always work for me, just to know. Um, they put them up on the blog okay. and John, uh, gave his email in the chat yep. and he can give yep. you the, the, to the blog where they have Badness. so many of these workouts. And sometimes we also post them to Instagram as well. So you can, cool. can't make it. Yeah. Sweet. And Wayne, just, just about all of them are recorded and put on the blog. So J O H N John dot doolittle at katsu.com. John dot doolittle at katsu.com. Uh, I got a bunch of stuff that'll help you out. Uh, uh, one yeah. more time. J O H N. Hello. Dot do little D O O L I T T L E at katsu.com. And if you click on that chat icon at the bottom, it's in there too. Thanks Thank lot, you Laura. very much. I appreciate, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you. Good job, Gator.
Liza, I think you had a question. It's Lisa. Thanks, Laurel. Oh, sorry. Is it Lisa or Lisa? It's Lisa. Lisa. Okay. Thank you for sticking around and answering that. I'm like, I hate getting people to <laughs> jobs now. I know. Thank you. Lisa? No, yeah. A lot of people say that. Can, I, um, can you show me what a quarter squat is? Like a little squat, that, that thing that um, is mentioned um, in yeah. the manual? The thing it's mentioned where? In the Not manual? It's called like a quarter squat. John, can you show her a non-lock quarter squat? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, who is that, Lisa? That's yeah, Lisa. I don't even know what that is. I should learn too. So in general, uh, can you see me? So, you know, that's a, that's, a full, that's a full squat, knees behind your toes, right? Mm -hmm. This is straight up and down a quarter squat. The idea just to, just to get everything firing in your glutes, quads and ham is just to get it and then not coming all the way up so in the manual when you see quarter squats it's not hard but when you have the katsu bands on don't allow yourself to lock out like this when you're doing these quarter squats it's just very simple gradual movements okay so yeah. it's similar to like when we're doing our bicep curls and we don't let our arm fully straighten. So we're keeping that muscle contracted the whole time. It's like the squat version of that. You don't fully let the muscles release. They're constantly just contracting, contracting. Okay, because usually when we do a squat or anybody does a squat, you're supposed to like squeeze your pelvis like out when you're done with it. So this is the opposite. You're not supposed to do that band. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. you want to keep that little bend. Okay, okay, thank you. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.